Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I want to show you how you can find an hierarchy item from the last node. So if you have a need where your hierarchy is five item longs so or six item longs, so then from sixth item you want to look at the th and every third item which has been present from the back in every row. In those scenarios, you may use this tutorial or you will find this tutorial useful. So before I move ahead and show you this, if you have landed very first time on my channel, then I want to show you, I want to just mention that uh, this sheet is a live Google sheet, which is present in the description so that you can easily access it and uh, find any of the video by simply press, pressing Control F like you do it in a spreadsheet and uh, jump to the link based on the uh, information you have in the column B, the YouTube link. That way you can easily search any of my previous, previous tutorial. Also, all of my future tutorial will be present or updated. Since it is a live sheet, you will always have most up to date tutorial. So make sure you bookmark this and uh, keep this resource whenever you need it. With that, let me move on to the Power BI. So here we are within the Power BI. So earlier, what I have showed is the path item function which is also very similar to this. That means based on the path that we are having, for example, if I click here, this is the path that we have created. So based on the path, we want to find the path item or the particular node, which is at a particular point. So for example, at the third point, right? So from first to third, and one basically says uh, you want to return an integer or text value. So this is something where we wanted to identify what is present at the third node. And as you can see, this is what it is present. But this time we want to do it from the back. So this is from the front. You want to find something if you need from the back. Let's say sometimes, you know, the path is so big and you want to just view it anything from uh, anything like second last or third last. Then in that case, this can be useful. So for that, what I will do is go into home and uh, i am here in the data mode first of all and i have selected the sheet which i have shown in my previous video where i started with the path item function or with the path this one and uh, over here we will going to create a new column and uh, the column is column will be not this one but uh, well if you have heard that that was my alarm <laughs> So, okay, I will just remove this and I will say EMP underscore item from back. You can mention it, any business friendly name that you think. All right, so um, employ item from back uh, and that is your path item reverse. So path item reverse path is nothing but EMP underscore MGR. And uh, what is a position? Position, let's say we want a third and we want numeric and that should be it. So if I press enter, you will going to get the third position from the left. So from here, the first, so you are getting one and over here you are getting two over here you are getting two so yes that means it is returning the right result so that's mainly i wanted to show you not just from the front which is the path item but with the help of the path item reverse you can actually get the node or the item right from the back so this is nothing but uh, if i associate like you have a function like right or left let's see in this spreadsheet which extract information from the right side or from the uh, start or from the left that means from the end so sometimes they become so useful that uh, you know whenever we want to get the information let's say from the end or from the last value so i hope uh, you have found this useful and added something new to your knowledge with that thank you so much and i will meet you in a new video with a new topic